Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today, I've got a tutorial video on how to make thumbnails for YouTube. Now, this is going to be super easy. You don't need Adobe Photoshop. You don't need to be really good on the computer or anything like that. All you need is two things, Microsoft PowerPoint and Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, some way to get on the web. Now, last things last, before I get into this, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and uh, I really appreciate all the support. Let's get right into this. Here we go. So take a look at this thumbnail here. Uh, this is pretty top of the line thumbnail here. So what we're gonna do here is just recreate this thumbnail from scratch. So let's go ahead, we're gonna make a new slide. There we go. And then all you need is PowerPoint and Google Chrome. So we're gonna go to Google Chrome and what you wanna do is type in, just search for the images you want and add PNG at the end. PNG image file is gonna have a clear background. See these uh, grid marks here? That's the kind of file you want. If you see the grids in the picture on the left and it's on the right, you're getting the whole image. See when I go to grab this, that the grid comes with it, you don't want that. Over this one, white here, grid here, when you go to grab the image, just the image you want comes with it. So this is a PNG file, copy this image, and you can put it in here. So then once you have this here, it has no background on it. So you can kind of paste this over whatever you want. If you find an image that you want and it has a background in it, like this one, I think this is the exact one I use. Go ahead, take this, paste it in here. I'm gonna show you a super easy tool. Format, remove background. See this purple? That's gonna be taken out of the image. Drag this box to include everything you want and then mark areas to keep. So you want his hand, gun, it's doing a pretty good job. Mark areas to remove. We don't want that rock. We don't want that rock there. Get picky on the trigger there. Get rid of all of that. And see how it's just gonna kind of take the color. So just for this video, it doesn't need to be perfect. You guys can obviously mess around with this a bit more and get it better um, in yours. And then keep changes. Look at that. That looks pretty good for doing it for two seconds. Um, if I were gonna use this, I would actually fix up these edges a little bit. They're a little rough. And I'm gonna show you another tool here uh, that really makes things pop. Right click, format picture. You're gonna to wanna to go into glow. Uh, this is a really good tool to really make kind of the PNG files pop. And you wanna put a glow on it. You can do black and it kind of adds a backdrop. You can make it big, small. And then you wanna mess around with the transparency a little bit. But kind of just a little black one and uh, a little bit of transparency really makes it pop. Uh, it kind of looks like it's ahead of the background. So let's go back to Google and let's just type in searching is going to be the best tool you have here. So let's do cool thumbnail background. That's the exact one I use. So uh, it's really that easy, guys. Let's try this one. Uh, another thing you want to do here, very important tools, image file size. Image size, you want large, just because when you drag this across your whole screen, it's gonna not get all pixelated. So, let's find one we like. This one looks all right. I'm gonna grab that, copy image. Boom, copy paste. Right click, send to back. So this is an important tool too. Bring to front, or send to back. Um, if you paste something on top of something else, you gotta layer your picture correctly. So let's take a look at what we need to create again. So for font, uh, you can take a look online and find different fonts. There are some good ones in PowerPoint. Uh, one of my favorites is Impact. So let's just, we'll start over here. So um, that way we're not dragging and dropping so you can see how the whole process works. So insert, word art, and we're just gonna go like this. Uh, it shreds, I think is what I had. All right, so black, simple, really nothing to it here. Text fill, let's go with that nice yellow. Right, text fill, let's go with a nice yellow, kind of to match the background, and then we'll go with the orange background. If you want to pick the exact color, use this eyedropper tool, grab that, and look, you have uh, the exact same color scheme as your background. We'll actually do it for the, uh, the inside as well. Boom. All right, let's highlight this. Text outline, let's make it a little thicker so it pops a bit more. And then we're going to make the text bigger as well. My favorite font in here is Impact. If you just go online and search for fonts, you can find a bunch as well. Got the gun there. 
Got it shreds. All right, and then we might want to add a little glow on this as well. The text options, glow. Go with black. Actually, let's go with white. White's pretty cool too. Kind of makes it pop off um, the page a little bit more. All right, and right now this thumbnail's all right. What else do we want to add? Let's take a look at the original. We've got this stat bar here. So I kind of just took this from online. Uh, Cold War gun stats. All right, perfect. So we've got it right here. And copy this image, gonna paste it here, and we're going to crop out everything we don't want. So we don't need that either. Don't want that minus in there, that wouldn't be good to have on our thumbnail. And let's blow this up. Look at that. Let's add a little bit of glow to make it pop again. We'll go with white, keep the theme going. Watch. So we'll mess with these bars too. So we're going to add the stat bars to make it look like this gun's absolutely insane. And we're going to insert shapes, and we want a square. So, there we go. Put this right over that. Use the arrow keys to get it exactly where you want. Looks like we want it a little thinner, too. And almost perfect. There it is. That looks pretty dang good. Shit, Phil. We're going to keep the, uh, the orange going. It's going to keep our recent colors. Or yellow, sorry. And there we go. Make this thing glow too. Look at that. Copy paste. So there we go, there's that. And what else do we have on this? Um, that's really it. Pretty simple title. Now just something I learned in film class a long time ago. When you're looking at a screen or a square, the eyes naturally gravitate to the upper left. Don't ask me why, this is just something that stuck with me and I remember. So you want to put something uh, important up here. It's going to be one of the first things people look at. So you can go with an emoji. Um, I like this Fortnite thing here. And basically, I created this shape, just kind of matched it off of what the Fortnite one looks like. And then here's a nice little tool I use as well. FortniteFontGenerator.com. Go in here. Insane. Exclamation point. Font size, blow it up, and let's grab a white font. Create PNG image, so there's that PNG again. Copy image, and boom, there it is. You can actually use this font for your, uh, your titles as well. Instead of it shreds over there with the font we use, just use that, and look at that. We've got ourselves a pretty good thumbnail here, and would we spend five minutes on it? So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll do some more tutorials with a little more in-depth on, on shading and stuff like that. But basically, just use your search tools, uh, type PNG, and copy-paste stuff in here, man. There's so much free stuff online. Just take it and make it your own, and make sure it looks good. Hope you guys liked the tutorial. Until next time, see ya.